All right, let's do this. Welcome everyone. Uh, second part of the Photoshop sessions. Uh, last time we literally did a small intro into yeah, the creation of NFT art. Uh, showed some of my work, asked some questions in Discord. This time I'm recording it because um, the event didn't get as much hype as we were hoping. Um, but I'm recording it so that people can just check it out whenever they want. Uh, this time we'll be going into, basically, as you can see in my canvas, um, I have like a real, very basic lumen here, and we're going to create some traits. I'm going to have some music running in the background, I hope people don't mind, because I'm not going to be talking all the time. But the idea is, uh, on Sunday, we have a guest during our weekly Twitter spaces. I can quickly pull him up. This is his name. Semi Ariaga, not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But yeah, he will be joining us. And what we sometimes do is when we have special guests or advisors or whatever, we give them a special one of one lumen. So I'm going to be creating a lumen today that's loosely based on him, his photo, um, his mutant, this one, and some of other NFT stuff that he's. Um, closely involved with or at least he's the founder of his own project as well so we're going to take some inspiration from those items and make our one of one lumen and this also will show you how i created most of the lumen traits that are in the normal collection and hopefully it can inspire you a little bit to you know take your nft collection to the next step so this is the master file that i always use for um for my lumen creations so as you can see, there's every single group there is with inside of the group, all the different traits. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to create a second canvas because I want to put some of the reference that I have inside the second canvas. Uh, 300. Sometimes oh, this has to go on this side. I like working like this when I have two canvases at the same uh, in the same screen, so that I don't have to switch between my right and my left screen. And um, this allows me to put some references here, which I can use for uh, basically the traits that we are going to be creating custom for this one of one. So I'm just going to this is on my second screen, so you can't see it, but I'm just going to quickly copy the references into the canvas. So as I told before, Sammy has his own uh, NFT collection basically, um, and we will be using some of those items as references. There's a couple of ones that I found, this name is by the way, the collection name is Pixelated by Sammy Ariaga, so if you have time check it out. Um, I'm going to be using some references from his collection, mixing it with his mutant and creating a one-of-one one out of it. And hopefully he likes it, you know? But yeah, we never know. What I really noticed on his profile picture on Twitter right now, and his mutant, and then also this one at the top right, is that for some reason he likes cowboy hats, so let's make him a custom cowboy hat. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to be my main reference. This is going to be... Some other reference as well, but I'm not going to be using that much from this image. This one, I like the background, so I'm gonna do something similar to our background. And this one, I really like this green, kind of weird hair. I feel like this is some sort of hair that you often see in like, I don't know, maybe Japanese cartoons or something, I don't know. But we're gonna try and put this hair on the lumen and uh, See if we can also make the cowboy hat go over it. Let's see. <clears throat> I think the background will probably keep bluish because it works well for the lumen. So the skin color of the uh, mutant that he has is like orange with green. So we're going to do the same. Since we already have orange here, we're going to use this color. Obviously, this background is mostly blue. 
So let's switch this to blue. Then we're going to find. Mm, I like these effects. So we're going to make some blue ones in here. And these are like the primary colors. So let's find something that's also a little bit blue. Let's see. This one's pretty blue. Maybe we're going to make it a little bit more custom for this one. At least I'm going to remove this. I'm just going to remove some layers because I want to work as fast as possible and making the layers a little bit or the layer groups a little bit smaller can speed up the process a little bit. Let's see what happens if I just make it a little bit more blue. Now, smoke layers, I think I'm just going to go for a little bit of a clean background. Since this mutant background is also pretty clean, so I'm just going to remove these. Disco lights, no. I really like them. Just going to remove those as well. I'm going to keep it quite clean this time. So I actually really like these typical swirls that we have, but I think in this case, I want them also to be a little bit more like bluish. I'm just gonna see how this looks. This looks dope. Feel that light, maybe a little bit less intense. I like this. Mm. I think I'm gonna not do the typical white lights that we have because I like this background where it's like this, it's almost like an explosion or some sort of, I don't know. So for this one, I'm going to make something custom, I guess. We can turn this off as well. So now I'm already noticing that the orange is not really proper orange. Maybe I have to increase it a little bit. Don't want it to get too intense, but. It would be cool. I can use the green one as well. Remove this. Since the front of the mutant is a little bit green, then you can make it like a gradient. Oh, yeah. I think this is dope. I haven't done this to any lumen before, but I think this looks pretty nice actually. A little bit of green in there. I think that's pretty cool. I think it will look good because we're also going to be using this inspiration from the hair. That's going to make it more, even more green. Let me see. Will we be adding this layer? No. Let's go. Black items. I don't think we will be adding any of these. No. Focusing mainly on the background here. Like this, not sure. I'm feeling this one. I'm just gonna remove this. I really hope the music is not too loud because it's the first time I'm doing this with music on. Maybe I should turn it down a little bit. But um, I think this is perfect, probably. Not sure. I will see. If you can't understand me, then you can just <laughs> look at the f process in Photoshop, which is also fine. I think if you're at the stage where you know Photoshop, you should be able to understand what I'm doing. So, Alright. I'm gonna make this effect. Copying this. A 
every time I work like this, there's not really like much thought that goes into it. I'm just creating things as I go and just trying out different things and really just experimenting basically. It works, it works, and if it doesn't, you can always remove the lace. That's the beauty of Photoshop, you know. So as, as people know, with the lumens, we have this like typical trill in the background. I do want to keep this effect somewhat alive. So for the, all of these layers, I'm going to add a little bit of this trill in there as well. Not sure how intense I wanted it to be. I think that's pretty cool. Let me just duplicate this to have a backup in case it doesn't look good. Yeah, I think that's pretty dope. It doesn't look like this anymore, but you know, I also want it a little bit, a little bit custom, but exactly the same as the reference. It's pretty dope. Like a little bit more filter. I like this music, it's like a lo-fi mix on uh, YouTube, not copyrighted, so it won't get taken down once we upload it. This looks pretty dope when you do it like this. Alright. I think that's good enough for now. <clears throat> now we have these typical stars in the lumens, and I like them, but maybe they're a little bit too intense for this one. Or maybe this one is actually pretty nice. What I want, what I want to do for this one of one is add some custom stars, which are inspired by this. And how are we going to do that? I'm just gonna do it really quick. This don't have to be perfect because I'm gonna be blurring them anyway. Right now it still looks a little bit weird, but get there. I should have had this in the original collection. <laughs> Fuck. I like them in white, kind of. Just wanted to have them in like a couple of weird sizes. Not weird, but small sizes big sizes, just to balance out it a little bit. 
Snap the layers off. Yeah, kind of like this. I mean, it's, you know, it's not the same, but it's inspired by it, so that's fine. Just gonna merge these, turn them down a little bit. I think so far it's looking good. <coughs> so, I mean, since you already had these special stars, I don't feel like it needs any more. These. Going to add any lasers. a little bit too much. We can maybe do let's create something unique though. Or just one of one. Let me see. Uh, what if I do this? This is how I created all the lumens. Basically just experiment constantly. Try out a lot of random shit. I like the way this looks for some reason. It's like really trippy, I guess. Right. I have to. Really just experimenting right now, just trying out <laughs> random things. If they work, they work. If they don't work, yeah, I like this. It's almost like nebula or something like that. I don't know. It's pretty dope. Just. Yeah, I think this looks awesome. Just gonna tone it down a little bit and duplicate it. And then I'm going to add some radio blue to it. Make it a little bit more foggy. Foggy, is that a word? I don't know. Let me see. I like the way it looks though. I'm just like randomly experimenting, creating new stuff and wishing I would have added these to the actual collection that we have for Lumens, but you know, that's just how, how things go. Maybe at some point uh, <laughs> I will be able to create a second collection and do some more of this stuff. Am I going to give him something on his face? This one has like this blush on his face. Maybe we can do something with that. I have an idea. So it's important to know that um, all the traits that I create with the lumens all had the same thickness in the brush strokes so that you know that if you create a new trait for a different group it has the same characteristics just right now I'm just kind of funny but it looks dope yeah that looks good I like it just 
improvise. Oh, actually, this reminds me now. This it looks a little bit like this. This guy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but it looks a little bit like this guy. It's actually almost exactly the same. Ah, oh, well, fuck it. Let's just keep it in there. I like it. <laughs> a little bit bigger. Alright, since we won't be using any of the hairstyles from this group, we can just remove this. We'll be creating a custom cowboy hat. Can we remove this as well? This we have already created custom as well. Remove that. Maybe I should make this to make it less like the saw guy. Make it pink. Which is also magenta, I guess. That's creepy. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong one. The lines. Yeah, that's better. It also works better with the blue, I guess, and the orange. <coughs> Clothing. So what I want to do is I want to create a striped t-shirt for this guy. But to make it a little bit faster, I'm just going to use this long sleeve as a base and then add the stripes in there and the coloring since it's also a long sleeve anyway you know cheating a little bit is fine to save some time you see we're also on time We can already add the earring, just like this. Call an earring. Which one? It's almost the same. Maybe we have to redo the placement a little bit, so. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty similar. I mean, maybe we should make it yellow for this one. All the earrings in the collection only have white colors, but you know, we can make an exception, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. That looks decent. Just gonna remove the lines, like at least the style color, because I don't want it to be distracting me. So what I'm going to do, I think that's pretty smart actually, since I have one body style. All right, I removed all of them. That's not really smart. Wait. Just gonna grab it from this one, I think. You see, you see this one. It has already has the lines. What if I can just use this one more? So, right. I'm just gonna take it from this one. This is a little bit smaller. I already have the lines for the body style. So if I just copy that and put it into a T-shirt, it should look similar. Let's leave. That's that's what I'm hoping for. It's gonna take a little bit of time. While we're waiting for this, make sure you follow this guy. He's gonna be joining us today, uh, not today, sorry, on Sunday, at our Luminosity Sunday's Twitter spaces. So give him a follow, you know, join us on Sunday, and you know, hopefully we can uh, create a nice partnership with him, or at least. Maybe get him on the show more often, and hopefully we'll get him to like his one of one lumen. Let's see. All right, so these I don't know. I need this is the one I need. I think if I just use this for my T-shirt, that should work. I think. Body.
usually if I would be working on like an actual collection, I wouldn't be copying and pasting stuff like this. I would be making everything unique and basically one of a kind. But since we're making a one of one now for Sammy, it's not a bad idea to cheat a little bit by making the wood flow faster, basically. Okay, so it looks a little bit like it's not right far enough. Why is it still red? I don't understand. Oh, right. I kind of like it, to be honest. It works. Maybe it's a little bit... What if I do it like this? Difference. Right. the same but it does look kind of cool because I want there to be a little bit more stripes Looks pretty dope, but hmm. I don't think I can make this work. Perfect. As long as it looks good, right? Alright, I kinda like it. Yeah, it's fine for now. Just making sure that the opacity is all the same everywhere. Because I want it to be correct. I got the black and white shirt was gonna give it a little bit more glow. Yeah, 
that looks good. All right, so now the t-shirt is finished. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look too similar, but it's decent. Mouths. I think I'll probably just be using this one since it's just like this really big grin. Should I be adding these teeth in there to make it more like a mutant? No. Nah. Maybe. I'm gonna modify it a little bit to make it a little bit custom, but I'm not going to add any teeth in there. I feel like this can, because it's also a little bit like dented here, a little bit more like this. This looks hella weird, but <laughs> I mean, it's based on a mutant after all. Not sure. I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to make the inside of the mouth green because it's also green, obviously. No, Mark, that's not green. Oh, I know. I want to use the same green as I always do, so I'm going to go into this group, copy the layer style, pass the layer style, put it underneath the lines, and voila, that's our mouth. <laughs> this looks so stupid. All right, so let me see what kind of glasses are we going to give this bad boy. I feel like round glass like these look nice. I think I'm just going to so I like those round glasses, but we don't have something like that in the collection. So what I'm going to do is use these as a base, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna remove these lines. The fill is going to be red because this guy has red glasses. Remove all of this. Let me see if I can just maybe copy. I think this one is the most suitable, probably. Just steal this from here. Add this here. actually works. That's actually perfect. It's maybe a little bit too thick now, but this actually works really well. Let me see. This is perfect. I know this guy, I mean, he's also wearing sunglasses in his profile picture here, so I think it's a good choice to give him glasses. I can maybe use one of these. To 
make the connection there. Wait. This obviously has to be a little bit like this. Alright, our classes don't have pupils. Okay, I don't like the way this looks. Hmm. Maybe I should... I'm just gonna try something completely different now. Keep the pupils here to have him give him, give him eyes. Remove all of these. Get these in there. Remove these as well. Then I'm just going to make glasses from these. Okay, maybe overlaying them on the eyes. Never been done before with the lumens, but why not try it? So what this means is they basic he basically gets two layers of eyes. I think that's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Maybe I should make the lines red. I'm not sure. All right, this looks dope. Obviously, since now it's sunglasses, what if we make it black? I think that's actually pretty dope. It's different, but it's something new and unique, I guess. We haven't done this before with the lumens, so for now, I'm just going to keep it. This can go. All right. Oh, I have a dope idea. Have we ever done? Black lasers? No. Then why not make this the first time? Jeez. I mean, why not? His profile picture on Twitter is pretty black and white, so maybe he likes the darker colors, I don't know. I think it looks pretty dope. <laughs> Why not? Let's keep it black for now. It's 
first time for everything, right? Let me see what the next step is. Alright, so I think this is all good for now. This can be removed. Now it's time to do the hair. I think I already removed this group. It's usually above clothing. Alright, so we're gonna make the hair similar to what this little guy here has. First I'm always going to sketch the hair a little bit so I know what the proportions will be. It's above his ears. I think it's a little bit like, it's very straight. It's gonna look so stupid, but also fun, which is important. It's gonna be a little bit. Oh, that's maybe a cool idea. I've put it above his eye, but be behind. This looks already really fun. Probably looks, looks nothing like this guy in real life, but we're making a combination of his mutants, his own collection, and himself. a little bit like a coconut on his head. <laughs> I like it though. I don't want it to be too big on his head because we still have to put this cowboy hat over it which is going to be a challenge as well but I think that should work this is for now I think good enough for a sketch <clears throat> Maybe I'll remove these things later if it don't work with the cowboy head, but I should be able to fit underneath this thing, so I think we should be good. Yeah, that works. I think it looks amazing. Amazing. Okay, now I usually put a black layer underneath the sketch. I do still want to be able to see the lumen a little bit, but in order to properly trace the sketch, it needs to be a little bit darker. Smoothing goes back up because I want the lines to be really smooth. If I don't like a line, I can always just redo them. No, don't like that.
This is basically how I created every single trait in the Lumos collection. First make a rough sketch, then refine the sketch, and in the end make sure all the lines are somewhat similar in terms of like thickness and how they are put on the canvas basically. If you don't like something just control or command set and do them again. See, while I'm drawing, it's good to have the music on because I cannot constantly talk while I'm drawing. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks fucking stupid, but... this too but it looks fun all right now we just gotta make it green this actually works the same way as we did the clothing. Put it below the lines. As you can see, I missed a little part, but I can just do this with the brush. Go into these green fill. Past layer style. All right, that looks good. The line. Going to make a green line, of course. Now it's starting to look like a lumen. Obviously, we also have the shadows that we need to add. Just keeping it similar to this, but not exactly the same, because obviously we have a different light source. So. And again, this you don't have to make super precise, at least not in my case, because they're really not that noticeable when I turn down the opacity a little bit. A little bit there. 
obviously a little bit of shadow underneath these lines. Now it looks a little bit weird, but when I turn down the opacity, it will look good. Let me just check what 25. So you know that it looks fine. 25. A little bit of blur. That looks good. Now we do the same thing with some highlights, obviously. The light source in all lumens is coming from the top right, so that's where we're going to be putting our highlights. Alright, hair is done. <laughs> it looks so weird. But who cares? Earring back on. It's a weird ass face, mouth back on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is amazing. Now, all we need is the cowboy hat. And then we are almost finished. I'm not really sure about the eyes yet. Maybe I'm just not going to not going to do the glasses. Just do eyes like this. I don't know. It just looks <laughs> really funny. <sighs> All right, let's sketch the cowboy hat. It's actually almost the same, I think almost the same perspective. Let me see how this works. He's not, not going to steal it, but in terms of size, we can maybe use it as a reference. Not sure. Let me just obviously this line. It's one of the weirdest lumens <laughs> I've created, but it also is one of the coolest. Fuck. Kind of 
kind of think it works. For some reason. But... I like it. It looks, I mean, with the glass, it's probably going to look really bad. Let me see. I mean, even then, it's not bad. But if I. The glass is from the mute now, obviously red, so maybe I should also just give this kind of red lines. Just keep them normal eyes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't hate it, but I also don't like it. later and see what we come up with for now. First finish the cowboy hat. It looks good. I mean it's different but Same thing here. This is for you. Almost one hour in and we are almost finished. Some reason it looks a little bit weird. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. 
This is better. I feel like it needs this double line here so that you can tell that it's a thick border. different from the mutants but it's it's lumen style you know so we're gonna keep it it's more of a fun happy cowboy hat <laughs> I feel like I'm sounding like fucking Bob Ross. Stroke is like perfect at the first half and then you slip a little bit. Alright, that looks good. Alright. <coughs> Cowboy hat almost done. Same trick as with the other traits, we just give it a nice fill. The reason I fill it constantly with, uh, with red is because then I can easily recognize the fill that is here. Because even if you pick I think orange green, It still shows up as red in your layer. Oh. Is it orange? This is such a weird lumen, but I like it. I obviously also have to give this guy some shading. This guy, I mean this hat, obviously.
Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. I think we can remove these references now. I think it looks awesome. I think the only thing I'm going to do to make it a little bit more natural is change the mouth color to red. I mean, obviously it was inspired by his mule, but this just looks a little bit, a little bit too much. And then make his eye color blue. I don't know if he has blue eyes, but just make it a little bit less over the top. And then maybe, because we're going for the blue theme, wait. I don't have those layers in here anymore because I removed them. So I'm just gonna take them from this one again. Just to wait a little bit. So slow. Such a good computer, but still it's so slow because the file is so big. Anyway, it's all good. If you guys like what you've saw and so seen so far, feel free to support us. Go get a Lumen on uh, OpenSea. Please use OpenSea because then I get royalties and that makes me happy. I'm really not a big fan of uh, Blur and all the other marketplaces using 0% royalties for artists. I think it's a bad development in the space, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously, there's always projects that have raised a lot of money from Mint. Oh, what? I shouldn't really remove these. That have raised a lot of money from Mint and stuff like that. Those might not need the royalties as much, but <clears throat> Lumens is a free Mint project, you know? And we're paying our mods, we're paying our staff from royalties, and yeah, I mean, it's not much, but it helps. I mean, obviously we're looking to raise, raise uh, VC funding in a short while, but that might take a while, you know, and we're trying to do as much as possible for our community. So we hope people appreciate that and support us by buying their lumen on OpenSea, or at least another marketplace that enforces royalties. It's just a nice way to give back, let me put it like that. I mean, the NFT space, one of the beauties for digital artists like myself is really is the royalties. So yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. I think the royalties are awesome in the NFT space, I think. It's a nice way to support the creatives. Obviously not every project is the same. In our case, it helps. While we are looking for funding, obviously, um, we can pay moderators from it, pay other staff members from it. And yeah, we hope that people respect that. But I mean, I obviously cannot force you or beg you to 
<clears throat> use OpenSea or use another marketplace where they enforce royalties, but yeah, I can just give you my view. I think it's important to support your creators. I mean, obviously, when you have a really high floor price, um, the royalties can become a lot of money, but with our floor price right now, we're still quite low. I think it shouldn't matter that much. So, yeah. That's how I feel about it. I mean, I hope people don't mind me ranting about this. I was actually thinking about posting something, like a statement of this, about the royalties on Discord. I haven't done it yet. Maybe I will in the future. But yeah, we will see. For now, let's finish up this bad boy. And I think it looks dope. The hair is so weird. It's behind the eyes, but I mean, it's art, you know, the eyes are floating on every lumen, it's floating notes, so that doesn't matter, I think they look dope. Uh, let's save it, and then we are ready. Sammy, I hope you like it as well mate, thank you for joining us on Sunday, spread the word. Hopefully you can bring some nice people. And I hope you like your one of one. As random as it is, it is inspired by some of your NFTs, your mutant, your profile picture, all of it. So I hope you like it. And for everyone else tuning in, see you next time. Next time we'll be on Discord again, live, so that people can ask questions, people can join us, people can give feedback. We will basically trade these sessions as AMAs. While we are working on something, people can ask questions and just come chill with us. All right, see you all later. Thank you for watching.